Hello, World of Tank Blitzers, it's Littlefinger, and today I am going to be talking about ammunition. When we think of ammunition, we think of damage. When we think of damage, we think of giant caliber guns like the Death Star 183mm gun, or even the KV-2 here with its 152mm gun, dishing out damage like that. Yes, it is probably the most complicated aspect of the game, and so I'm going to talk about the characteristics of each type of ammo from AP, APCR, Heat, HE, and Hesh, of course. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about the game mechanics and when to use each type of ammo so that you can maximize your damage each and every game. I'm sure you're all familiar with the symbols for AP, APCR, HE, Heat, and High Explosive Squash Head. The first characteristic I want to talk about is penetration, and I rated these on a 1, 2, 5 scale. With AP being normalized in the middle there, APCR's got a little bit better pen, whereas HE has the worst pen in the game. APCR and Heat are typically premium ammunition, which is why their penetration values are higher. Hesh, on the other hand, typically does more damage than your standard round, but has a little bit less penetration. As far as shell velocity goes, APCR is going to be the fastest shell in the game. HE and Heat are the slowest, whereas AP and Hesh are pretty much normalized in the middle. The next characteristic is damage, or also known as alpha. Now I've put AP, APCR, and heat all here at three. That's because some tanks do have APCR and heat as their standard ammunition. Keep in mind that when it is your premium ammunition, Wargaming drops your alpha 15%. Also note that uh, the listed alpha is an average, and in game you can have either a positive or negative 25% added or subtracted to that average damage. So those are some fairly common knowledge facts on the game. Now we get into loss of penetration over distance, which may not be as clear to some of you. AP and APCR both lose penetration over distance. The numbers given are from 0 to 100 meters. Your pen is what is advertised. After that, you start losing uh, damage. The APCR actually decreases more over distance than APCR when it is your premium ammo. Uh, heat, HE, Hesh do not lose penetration over distance. And so the other mechanic to look at is splash damage. HE and Hesh both do splash damage if they don't penetrate, meaning you're going to get a smaller amount of damage than the advertised full roll for that type of ammunition. This means that AP, APCR, and Heat can all ricochet. The final game mechanic is normalization, and this is really starting to get into the weeds. But basically, takeaway here is AP is normalized by 5 degrees, APCR by 2 degrees. Also, as I said before, the AP, APCR auto bounce is 70 degrees, whereas Heat is 85 degrees. And we'll talk about this a little bit more here on this slide. So here's a wargaming image that I found that best describes how to calculate the normal angle. Where your shell hits the armor, you draw a tangent line from there. You draw a perpendicular line called the normal line. That angle in between that and your shell trajectory is your normal angle. angle. And that is what gets reduced by the 5 degrees for an AP shell or 2 degrees for an an APCR shell. Now obviously this is going to help you out as far as reducing the effective armor of the tank that you are shooting. Now of course with any rule there's always exceptions. There's a two caliber rule which talks about the size of your shell in comparison to the thickness of the armor and that also if your shell is two times or more then you're going to get an additional normalization meaning uh, you're more likely to pen. And then there's the three times caliber rule in which you, if your shell is three times the nominal thickness, then you eliminate the possibility of ricocheting, and then the calculation is just whether or not your shell has the pen to get through the armor. 
So now I'm going to jump in and talk about when to use these different types of ammunition. AP is going to be used most of the time because that is what is most commonly on these tanks. It's not until you get to the upper tiers where you start seeing APC and R and heat being moved from your premium ammo to your regular ammo. Don't forget with uh, regular ammo you're going to get more damage than premium ammo. Um, just because of that penalty of using premium plus it's more costly. So AP is most of the time if you can't penetrate with HE. Make sure you know what your HE pen is before you go into battle. It's going to be those bigger guns, 122, 152, 183s that are going to be doing uh, the highest pen. There are exceptions. RU251 comes to mind. Um, but for the most point, if you're in a medium or light, you're going to be shooting AP. You can use it to shoot through obstructions. It's also good to shoot uh, if you want to just track someone. If you've got a high rate of fire tank, you can perma-track somebody, let your teammates finish him off. Um, what not to use it? Well, I guess the general rule of thumb here is if you've got a lower caliber gun, don't use it uh, on anything greater than 70 degrees. So you're going to want to use APCR only when you can't pen with HE or AP, assuming this is your premium ammunition. Obviously, you're going to pay more for an APCR shell, and you're going to do a little bit less damage, but you get more pen. Um, you can use it to shoot fast-moving objects because it is the fastest uh, ammo in the game. You can shoot through obstructions with it, and obviously you can shoot through tracks and spaced armor as well. Don't use APCR when you can pen with AP. That's pretty obvious. Uh, it's called spamming gold. And basically all you're doing is wasting credits and doing a little bit less damage. Also, APCR falls in with AP in the sense that anything over 70 degrees is going to start falling into the auto bounce calculations with the 2 caliber and 3 caliber rules that we discussed earlier. To save a little time, I'm going to talk about HE and HESH together. HESH obviously is going to premium ammunition, is going to cost a little bit more, but still does a lot of damage. So you want to use both of these against thinly armored tanks. Think light tanks, think sides, think rears of tanks. Um, that's when you really want to pull this out so that you can penetrate fully into the tank doing all of the damage on the inside. If you don't, you're just going to get splash damage. Splash damage is really useful for resetting cap. Uh, or even doing a kill shot on a very low health tank. Now, you don't want to use HE or HESH if a tank is has spaced armor. Um, it does not work well on spaced armor. And then also, since both of these shells explode on first impact, then you don't want to shoot against a tank that's behind an obstruction. Think fences, cars, the, some of the destructible objects in the game. So heat is typically a premium ammunition type. So only shoot it if you can't pen with HE or AP. Now, one of the few good things I can say about heat, I don't like heat, just getting that out there, is you can shoot tanks at a longer distance because it doesn't lose pen over distance. Um, the other good thing about it is you can shoot heavily armored tanks, primarily because in equipment, if you're using calibrated shells, you get 10% additional pen over 5% for APCR, so the pen is typically a little bit higher. However, it really needs to be armor that is vertical. Think of mouse. Um, heat will pen spaced armor, but the rule of thumb is you lose the initial value of the spaced armor, and then you lose 5% for every 100 millimeters thereafter, uh, which really reduces the pen on, say, like shooting the side of an IS-6 or something. You really want to stay away from that with heat. Now, in-game, they say that it auto-bounces at 85 degrees, but it doesn't have any normalization. And I find that on rounded and steeply angled armor, heat bounces a lot more than APCR. I would happily trade all my tanks out that have heat with APCR. And then, obviously... Heat works similar to HE and HESH in that it explodes on impact, so don't shoot at tracks, and you can't shoot through obstructions either. So let's take a look at this in-game. Alright guys, I know that was a lot of information, extremely boring, but I think it's important to understand the mechanics so that you can maximize your damage per shot. And most of you probably already know about AP, uh, APCR, and as far as looking at 
areas without any red or slightly pink and uh, aim for those. And the biggest trouble you're having is with HE. So let me give you a few tips on how to maximize your damage now. First thing I want to make sure everyone's doing, especially if you're playing on a mobile device, is come down to settings. Hit controls, scroll down to the bottom, and make sure ammo bar here on the lower right is turned on. Uh, this is going to save you a few steps in changing your ammo on the fly in game, and I'll show you that here in a second. The second thing I always want you guys to, to take a look at before you go into battle, hit the upgrades button, take a look at your tank statistics here. Our average pen on our AP round is 110. We've also got AP is our premium and the average penetration is 136 our HE is 86 but I've purposely set up this KV2 wrong um, and I'll show you why here in a second AP damage 640 with our premium 545 but with HE 960 so you can see with a gun like this there is a huge difference between an AP round and an HE round that penetrates so we want to maximize that so let's go into equipment and any tank that you're pretty sure you're gonna be shooting a lot of HE or if your heat is your premium you want to run calibrated shells because for heat and HE you get plus 10 percent um, to the penetration value so now our HE pen value is 95, which is a considerable amount different than before. Let's take a quick look um, at, say, a KV-3 here. And our pen um, damage between, I mean, our, our damage between an AP is 280 and HE is 350. That to me is not enough damage to shoot HE unless I'm absolutely 100% positive I'm going to pen. So this is what your ammo bar looks like in game if you have it turned off. You have to push the button to open it and then select your tank and then it collapses again. So it's an extra step when changing between ammo types. Now here it is in game with it turned on. You can see you push it to open it and then you can switch easily between any of the ammo types. Now I said I would go back to that first game on Middleburg and talk about how to maximize damage because even though I did over 2k damage in that game as bottom tier I left a lot of hit points on the table so always want to look for your nice soft juicy targets like that comet and shoot it in the side nothing I could have done any better than that shot right there. So I'm going to come back to the two shots I took on poor old Zebra up in his T29. Sorry about that, dude. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the M41 Bulldog here. You can see he's coming up over the hill. That is spaced armor on the side of his tracks. Um, so my shell hits his armor, and the rest of the shell is absorbed by the tracks, and I only do splash damage. So I recreated this scenario in a training room and, you know, obviously that bulldog was moving fast. I had very little time to be thinking, which is why it's best to have that ammo bar open. I could have shot HE anywhere but into that spaced armor in front of his tracks. Um, you can see that HE would have penned in the side of the turret and would have penned in the front hull area. As we go around the tank, there is virtually no yellow anywhere on this tank. Um, I could have even shot H, I mean AP, and done my 640 roll instead of a 960 roll. But anyway, we're going to show you what would have happened had I got the side of the turret. So I left six, seven hundred hit points on the table by not aiming that HE shell properly. Now you can see here in this video I was able to replicate that splash damage as to where I shot that bulldog. Had I switched over to AP and shot in the same place I would have had a more higher roll closer to the average damage of that AP shell. 
Now back to my second shot. Um, this was my first shot against the T29 Zebra up. You can see he's moving in, getting behind cover, so I don't have much time at all, and I snap one in there for 517 splash damage. Now, you can see I really had very little time to make a decision there, which is why it's key that your ammo bar is open. But if you look at AP and the premium AP here, you can see a lot of pink. And while it does look like that Coppola is penetrable, um, it is an awfully difficult shot. So I'm just going to run through these really quick. Um, and you can see here, that when we do finally hit the top there, we just get a splash damage. Um, so I was very fortunate um, to get in the neighborhood of 500 damage on that shot that I took. Um, seems to be a little bit weaker towards the middle. 400 roll there. We switch over to AP. We are not penning this tank anywhere on the front. So it helps to know what you can and can't do ahead of time. And so here's my last shot. You only have a few seconds to think what to do, and I just threw it in there. Got splash damage. So keep in mind, he was at 500 hit points, and I had very little time to think about what to do. I really had two options. I could have switched over to AP and shot him in the rear, but AP's probably not going to pen along the side skirts and the tracks. And I could have taking my HE shot up the butt two. Um, AP doing 626 damage would have finished him off. And certainly his rear is penetrable with an HE shot, uh, which would have done the damage too. However, my shot hit the tracks and only did splash damage. Again, leaving damage on the table. So in this example, I've got myself in an SU-152 against an IS-6. You can see how red that is with AP. HE is mildly yellow. Um, Going to just get splash damage. Heat looks like it's penetrable from the front, but not the sides. And so you can see there, 540 is what our roll should be. Um, HE, nothing. Looks like the top is penetrable with AP. However, you're probably falling into the auto ricochet rules here, and uh, none of these are going to pen. One of the interesting things you see here was splash damage on the front, 388. We can also shoot underneath the tank and do splash damage as well. So IS-6 is one of those tanks that does have spaced armor on the side. You can see that skirt that comes over the tracks there. Uh, if I shoot anywhere in there, I will only get splash damage and we finish him off. This time the IS-6 comes in closer, but we have a destructible object in front of it. And I just want to show you what happens when we shoot HE and heat at the destructible object. Basically, we blow up the chairs, but no damage to the tank. Now, just as a reminder, guys, um, we went over a lot of stuff about the characteristics of each types of armor. Make sure you know those and how they impact uh, what you should be selecting in-game. Um, you know, HE is a really nice uh, option when you can get it to pen fully. You can see here yellow on the back, but not on the bottom. And we're going to set that IS-6 ablaze. Um, and then one other little trick with most tanks is just behind that front wheel is a very vulnerable spot that is typically penetrable. So with that, guys, um, make sure you're driving with your ammo bar out uh, so you can switch in an instant. Make sure you're running calibrated shells if you've got a high explosive gun. Uh, that is doing good damage with an HE shell or if heat is your other premium ammo. Um, and just be mindful of what some of these other tanks have as far as their armor and where spaced armor is. I highly recommend you check out uh, Blitzhanger or Armor Inspector. And as always, guys, have fun out there. Stay safe, get educated, not fingered. Littlefinger out.